It's now eight years later. And I feel that this relationship was just pure destiny. I'm very happy to be here to inaugurate the second edition of my first experience was actually in Trinidad and Tobago where they helped build and repair houses for the less fortunate. Volunteerism in Habitat for Humanity has been a big thing. And I hopefully one day can put my, my clothes on and head out to the fields where they do the building. I would love to do that one day. I hope that you guys come out and support. I hope you guys write the right things in the newspaper to ensure that we bring attention to this very, very needy cause. Thank you very much. You know, easily, you know, they talk about Lords being the home of cricket, but when you're really talking about cricket and all its activities, it happens right here in India, and it's always a great opportunity to do so. I mean, between the IPL, the World Cup, the West Indies being here, I think I've been to India in 2019 at least six or seven times. I don't think any cricketer would deny that. You see the influx of cricketers um, to play in the IPL, um, the media side of it, and um, even the fans. You know, the fans travel from around the world to come to India because they understand this is really the heartbeat of where it is. And if you don't experience cricket in India, you have not experienced it. Uh, sportsman, I think um, his achievement uh, speaks for itself. Um, he is, as you said, presently in the Bahamas playing in the World Challenge, which is um, sponsored by an Indian company, Hero. Um, I've met him on a couple of occasions, and uh, for me, as, as far as I'm concerned, he's been very friendly. And I look at him as someone who has achieved a lot. He went through a pretty um, tough period, but he come back out of it and still uh, do what he did in recent times, winning uh, a few tournaments, winning the Masters again, shows that he is definitely, for me, you know, the best golfer that has ever lived. My golfing experience, you know, span, you know, in all corners of the world, you know, from Brazil to New Zealand to um, LA. Um, I think the best experience is when you play with friends. And, uh, you know, my, my best friend, uh, former Manchester United player, Dwight York, Russell Latifi, we are kind of a threesome that, you know, travels. And anytime we can get together on the golf course, it's the best experience, you know. Um, the Brown Hill, I played in that in Scotland. That's a, you know, like a pro-arm, you know, playing at um, uh, St. Andrews and Finusti and King Bands. And, and you've got a lot of celebrities here. I mean, Shane Horn is always there. Uh, Michael Bourne, Callis. Uh, those, are the, those are the great times. Um, I think uh, played in, in tremendous golf courses around the world. So I, it's hard to sort of, you know, pinpoint one and say that this has been my best experience. Um, I felt that uh, David Warner should have been given the opportunity to, to go for it. I was in Adelaide, I felt it was kind of destiny being there at the time. And you do understand that obviously any team that's batting first and in a very good position would want to give the opposition a chance in the sec second evening. That's like, that's like understood. But I just felt maybe, you know, just send a message out saying, you know, you've got 10 overs to, to do something. Um, but I think at the end of the day, uh, the decision was uh, vindicated. They want the match. They want it with a day to spare, so maybe they could um, easily have given them the opportunity. But uh, that's how it is. But I believe that records are made to be broken. Even David Warner may have an extra.